Hello, what's happening? Matt A.K. Lethal Frag here. I'm going to be doing what Modern Warfare 3 did right, and uh, certainly things I don't like about this game. There's a lot of things I do like about this game, but I want to start off on a positive note and talk about what Infinity Ward and the Call of Duty franchise did right in this game. And what they did was an absolutely brilliant job of reinventing the game with the same engine. And I was a little bit concerned coming into this game that they were using the same engine they've been using since Call of Duty 4. I mean, it's an old engine, it's almost five years old now. So, you know, I was a little bit skeptical as to, you know, if they could pull that off. And, you know, what they did is add a completely new killstreak system, um, really make the map small, and, you know, make the game work with the engine without making it feel exactly the same. And as I said in previous commentaries, the feel of the game, the way the game runs, feels exactly like Modern Warfare 2. It feels like the Infinity Ward engine, the one they've been using. But they brought new concepts to the game that really took that to the next level. It made it not feel cumbersome, or... It, it doesn't feel like the same game. It feels like a brand new game. It feels like a new gaming experience, just with the sheer amount of customization that's going on. And one thing I really enjoy that they brought is being able to level up your guns. I thought that was definitely a step in the right direction rather than having to, you know, just unlock all this stuff. Or I wasn't really a big fan of Call of Duty points in Black Ops. While it seemed like a cool idea to start, it was really kind of a pain to have to sit there and collect all that cash to buy stuff. Um, you know, this way you use a gun a lot, you unlock everything for it, and there's no shortage of unlockables on top of an attachment. You have, you know, weapon perks and all sorts of different sites that you can use, all sorts of good stuff going on as far as customization goes. Um, as far as perk balance, I feel it's pretty good. I've used pretty much the same perks um, pretty much the whole time. I'm definitely going to be switching that up soon. But, you know, it feels good. It doesn't feel like the perks are, you know, overpowered or a... You know, they don't feel they don't feel unbalanced. The game feels pretty balanced overall. I mean, we have some gun balance issues. That's always going to be a case in the Call of Duty game, or any first-person shooter. Really, there's always that one gun that everybody goes to. It seems to be the UMP 45 right now is the the standard with rapid fire. But you know, you have all these options of different choices you can make with your guns, and I think that's definitely a benefit to the game. And the Call of Duty franchise has always been extremely good about that, making sure that there's tons of customization, but they really took it to the next level with being able to level up your guns, and it's not completely level-based on, uh, you know, what you unlock. You know, there's lots of different attachment options, etc., etc., and uh, I'll just leave that at that. I really am enjoying the weapon system. Now, as far as killstreaks go, I'm still on the fence about this, but I think this is something that was actually a benefit to the game, is they added an extreme amount of customization to the killstreaks. You have your standard assault killstreaks, as what we've seen in previous Call of Duty games. Um, you know, Call of Duty 4 is just 357, and then Modern Warfare 2, they said, okay, you can pick your own killstreaks. Um, in this game, they're like, you can pick your own killstreaks, plus you have three different tiers you can go to. And one thing that's really great about this game is um, your custom classes also save your killstreak setup. So, you know, you can have the same gun and have different killstreak setups for, for that same gun. You don't have to go switch your killstreaks between every game. You can just go and switch your class, which really gives an ease of use that was not in previous Call of Duty games. I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have left the wrong killstreaks on and then been pissed off because oh, I'm going for a nuke, and I really wanted to have 3, 4, 5 on. And in this case, you can just have, you know, your 3, 4, 5 killstreak set up, and, you know, there you go. You just got to switch your classes if you forget. Uh, another thing I thought they did really well is, you know, making up a new game type, which is Kill Confirmed. It's definitely one of the cooler game types I've played. It's Team Deathmatch with an objective, which is getting those dog tags. It's uh, pretty crazy intense. There's no shortage of action. Which leads me right into my next point, which is they made a very fast-paced game. There is nothing slow about this game whatsoever. I mean, it's really a polar opposite of Battlefield. And I'll get into my opinions, Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3 later. But, you know, it they really revolutionized a uh, fast-paced game. 
there's nothing slow about this. Modern Warfare 2 had a lot of really large maps, and at times it felt very slow, and it felt very beneficial to sit back and camp, and, you know, take those really long shots and just kind of hold down one spot. Whereas in this game, it's really a benefit to move around and rush a little bit, or even try to flank. It's, uh, it's not all about, you know, sitting back and racking up kills. It's just, it's action. It's pure, it's pure action. Which I think, uh, for, you know, for the franchise and for adding new players in, that's a really good thing. Even if you're not having the best kill death game, you know, you feel like you're contributing, you feel like, you know, you're having a good time. Of course, it's not all fun in games, you know, when you do poorly, you don't enjoy yourself that much, but, you know, it's really fun. It's definitely a fun game, and it kept me interested for, for the whole night. You know, um, I tweeted out that I felt a little bit disappointed in the game. I think I was just a little bit tired and kind of burned out, really. But, um, you know, it's a solid game, and they did a lot of things really well that uh, I wasn't expecting. I was kind of expecting Modern Warfare 2.5, and that's really not the case. They took Modern Warfare 2 and really redesigned the entire game around the engine rather than redesigning the game around Modern Warfare 2. They said, we're just going to make a brand new game, and I definitely think they achieved that with Modern Warfare 3. It's definitely a brand new experience for anybody that's getting into the Call of Duty franchise. Um, even though it handles the same, it's a completely different game, and I think that's what they were shooting for, and I think they, I think they achieved that. You know, in a really good way. I'm looking forward to playing some more and getting uh, a little more in-depth, uh, you know, leveling up, trying out all the guns and all the different options that I have. I've used the M4A1 for most of my playtime now, and I haven't even maxed out the gun yet. So, you know, i got to put in a lot more time. <laughs> a lot of time. And I definitely will be doing that. So, overall, I think it's a great experience. Definitely things I don't like about the game, which I'll get into in another commentary. But I just wanted to get this out of the way and, you know, spoke on some of the positive things that Modern Warfare 3 is bringing to the table. And there's certainly no shortage of that. You know, it's, it's really a defining experience for the gaming community. And that's about all I got. Frag out.